going to round to the hundreds. And we're going to round the number 268. When we're rounding numbers, basically what that means is we're trying to figure out which number is the closest to this number. You guys have been kind of doing this already and you don't even know it. So when we're rounding numbers and we're rounding numbers to the hundreds, that number I need to pay attention to. That is the 2 in 268. 200 ends up being the first number on my number line. Because we're rounding by hundreds, I have to think of 200 plus 100, and that's going to give me that ending number, which is going to be 300. So the beginning number of this number line is 200. The ending number of this number line is 300. Now, something else to think about. I need to think about where the middle of my number line is. If you think of 50 plus 50 equals 100, then 50 is going to be the middle of 100. For this number line, because I start at 200, that means 250 is going to be the middle of my number line. Now, I have to figure out where 268 is going to go. Is 268 going to go here, or is 268 going to go there? I want you to think about it for just a second before I tell you the answer. All right, so I hope you thought about it. 268 is actually going to go on that side of the 50. Because it's on this side of the 50, that means our number rounds up to 300. Okay, let's try again. 433. So, 4 in 400, that makes my first number. So if you think of 400 plus 100 more, that's going to give us our ending number, which is 500. So I have to set up my number line before I do anything else. And basically, rounding just means what is this number closest to? Is this number closest to 500 or is it closest to 400? You could probably answer that already. Some of you have been doing a really nice job at answering that already, but we're just making sure and we're kind of doing it by the rules. Something we do need to figure out when we're rounding is we have to figure out that midpoint number. So I had said 400 here, 500 here, half what is right in the middle. Remember, here's the hint. 50 plus 50 equals 100. That's the hint. And so that means between the halfway point between 400 and 500 is going to be 450. That's the halfway point. My next problem is to figure out does 443 fit there or does it fit there? That's the next part we have to figure out. Where does it fit? So is it less than 450 or is it more than 450? And yes, it is less than 450. It's right about there somewhere, which means if we're going to round 433, we have to round it down to 400. Okay, now it's your turn. The first thing you have to figure out is you have to figure out that number and you have to figure out that number. You also have to figure out what goes in the middle. So, if you say that number, 600, that's what goes there. 600 plus 100 more, that's what's going to go there. When you're trying to figure out the midpoint number, Think of 50 plus 50 equals 100, so what would be halfway between 600 and 700? That's what's going to go there. Next, figure out where 678 is going to go. 
is it going to go there or is it going to go there? And that will give you the answer of where 678, does it round down to here? Does it round up to there? So this one you are doing by yourself.